This CD, Weeping Philosophers, was inspired by two amazing pieces of the early and late Baroque. We have Barbara Strozzi's Eraclito Amoroso, or Heraclitus in Love, and we have Francesco Durante's Seneca Svenato. So you have Heraclitus on one hand lamenting his lost love, and you have Seneca about to open up his veins and asking Rome to weep for him. So we don't only have weeping philosophers, we have laughing philosophers. So Democritus was known as the laughing philosopher, and he laughed at human misfortune, just as Heraclitus was weeping. And then we have a third philosopher, Diogenes, who, because he lived in an empty wine cask, has kind of come to be known as the drinking philosopher. So in the CD, we have lots of weeping, laughing, and drinking. One of the other things we wanted to uh, explore here is to what extent are singers feeling the emotions they're conveying? Are we feeling, laughing, sobbing, crying? Or is it meant only for the audience? And so the question is, just like in philosophy, are philosophers only head? Are they heart as well? And are singers just heart and no head or something in between? And what is music for? Is music an imitation of our emotions? Or is music somehow a catharsis, a transformation, an escape from our emotions? So how do we incorporate normal human expressions and mix them with musical, ornamental expressions of emotions? What is that line between head and heart? How is the best way to think about meaning in life? A uh, fabulous soprano Soraya Mafi has joined me along with the ensemble Tercia Realidad, recording here in the uh, Teatro Carlos III, a wonderful Baroque theater uh, here in El Escorial.